Hi, it's Alex. I hope you're all well. Thank you for watching. I'm out and about doing another video, and I'm at Ribblehead Fido. Please, no photographs. Yeah, so I'm at Ribblehead, and the weather is shocking. It's a bit dreaky, as my grandma used to say and it's blowing a gale so I'm sorry about any wind noise on the mic. Ribblehead is plan B today. I'd originally planned to go somewhere else but I got on the way there and saw that there were a load of road closures so I turned around and came here instead. But I think I've got some nice images on the way here that I've stopped off on the road and taken images off as the sun came up. So I'm gonna hang around See if the weather improves a little bit and try and get some images of the viaduct. Ribblehead still a feat of engineering genius, built in the mid 1800s. Uh, it must have been a fantastic project to take on and logistically nightmarish to get stuff here in the middle of the Dales. I believe the town that went up around it, the shanty town, was a bit like a frontier town in that when you finished work you basically went, got drunk, had a fight, go up the next morning, worked and repeated every day. And I think there was quite a bit of lawlessness in the town at the time, but they still managed to build a wonderful, wonderful bridge. It's middle of August, which I know in the UK means nothing, but it is as freezingly cold. We seem to have gone from a temperature where you're sweating like a puppy on a barbecue, and now I'm searching for gloves. I'm still trying to carry on with me on this photography. I don't overwork it and I don't do fakery and I don't do creaminess. I might be an average photographer, but at least what you see is all honest and genuine. So I was just looking on the monument and it was actually built between 1870 and 1875. And then it was closed down, I think in the 60s and then it was restored between 1988 and 1991 and is still working as a regional railway and it is part of one of the most famous rail tours in Britain the old settled Carlisle run which comes over here regularly during the summer as far as I know and you can always just do the regional train from Settle to Carlisle as well. Uh, one thing about Ribblehead that is great as long as you get here early is that there is quite a bit of free parking to take benefit of and you don't get that everywhere you go. Certainly not uh, attractions, national attractions like this. Usually you have to pay an arm and a leg.
hi I found a slightly more sheltered spot to talk to you so I'm gonna have a walk up the path towards the sidings have a little wander around see what's to see and then on the way back I'm gonna do the traditional iconic head-on shot of the viaduct see how that turns out hopefully I can get some foreground in as well as the viaduct and we'll see how it comes out and whatever images I get today that I like I will put up This bit is practically unusable because of the wind noise and basically I'm just saying that I've had a good look around taking some images and I'll put them up and also I was going to have a coffee and a protein bar. Well to say it's been plan B today, I've had a cracking time and I think I've got some nice images and thank you for watching me. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, please like and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.